After this, he says, move the third paragraph that starts, our new offering is at the paradise retreat. So now we are going back to make some modifications for our text. So I have to exit my header and footer. I have two ways. Even from the design menu, I press on close header and footer or I double click at any place on the page except the places for header and footer. Now he wants to move a specific paragraph start with a specific text so i have to find it first so from the home menu find at the editing section at the end to the right i will press find and i will type exactly how the sentence it's written because any spelling mistakes will may will be made in the typing the program will not find any result so our new offering is at the paradise retreat and I will be sure before I type it that already I exit all selection because if I'm making some selection for any part of the text or the document he will search only on this selection so if I press now find next he will say word has finished searching the search item wasn't found because already if you can notice I'm selecting the subtitle so I will press do you want to search the remainder of the document? I will press yes. Now he found it. I will press close for my find and replace. Now I find, I found my uh, paragraph. I want to move it. This is the third one. So it becomes the second paragraph. Now this is the first paragraph. And this is the locations we are using are after this comes a table so the table is already related to the first paragraph so when I am moving my paragraph I will make it after the table so I will select my paragraph right click by the mouse make cut go after the table and give it a space and make paste now this is my paragraph being replaced or moved from the third paragraph to be the second paragraph but after the table after this he says change the numbered list here strand oxford street regent street i have this is as numbered list to be a bulleted list what is the number list and the bulleted list already the bullets are dots or items or symbols refers to an important line of information now to make it as a list this is a numbered by numbering from the home menu paragraph section we can see this is for bullets this is for numbering and in the numbering we have to the letter list if we display here the types we have the letter list in arabic in english capital and small and latin so now he wanted to be or to be changed from the number list to be a bulleted list so i have to select them first then go to the bullets and make it to be a bulleted list press only on bullets now it's changed it to be a bullets instead of the numbering and we can see that the bullets are lightened and the numbering list is off after this he says find the table which has the word code in the top left cell this is the table has the code at the top left cell complete the table by adding the hotel and location details shown below and he gives us some typing to type 
make sure that the font matches the font specified for the body text of the document here already we made the body text for the document to be a serif font a times new roman so the table will be serif font too now we can see if we stand on any place on the table that already the font type didn't change now we are going to complete our table Now the location is done. And here the hotel column is done and all the cells are in the font type of the same font type for the whole document it's Times New Roman after this he says The table must fit within the column and must not change its position in the document. This is what we said it before that already the location for the table didn't change when we remove our third chapter to be the second. It's, the table remains in its place. And here, if we make scroll down by the mouse, this is the part of ruler. It is a column width, remember? If we scroll to down we can see that the table it's not fixed to the column width it's a little bit more so we can adjust it by our hand here see this is small square just make it to be fit with the column width now if you scroll it's okay after this he says found find the table which has the word stuff this is the table has the word stuff copy the stuff details we are not going to copy it because it's already from access file he want to delete the first column from the table containing stuff codes so here if we make like this see this is small black arrow we can delete our column just select the first column right click and make delete columns delete the row from the table containing Lucille matter so of course we didn't type so we will not know which one so we can select see this white arrow we can select the whole row by it and right click and make delete rows make sure that the text in the table is formatted to match the body text of the document already here from the font it's shown we can know that already it's times new roman as the rest of the document format the column heading to be italic underlined and centered so this is the column heading i will select them and make it italic underlined from the font section home menu and still from the home menu paragraph section I will go to alignment and make it centered format the background of the top row to be a light gray shading this is the first row of our table see I can make my table fix it to the column width here is the first row I will make it from here 
when we are selecting our table there is two main menus will appear for design and layout from the design we can see shading when we press on shading we can see many colors so we can select the color of shading he says light gray shading and he didn't mention any percentage so I can select any one I need I will select the first one format all borders in the table to appear when printed so now I have columns if I select by the black arrow and I have rows but already it's without borders so here from the design I can select my whole table from here by pressing by the mouse on this cross and from borders I will make borders and shading and I will select for the borders to be all to make all the borders shown when it's printed and press ok now all borders are shown make sure that all of the contents of the table are visible with no text tab now all the table are visible and already it's fixed to the column widths and must not change its position I didn't change its position in my document